Hey guys, um, should probably give an update to you guys. Um, I think the last last video I made was after the Crosswinds day, which was, yeah, disappointing day, but at the very start of the race. It was only stage two and I, in my head, was just already switched to wanting to go for stages. Um, and so the next day after that, I helped Cortina in the sprint and did a lead out and then pulled off and lost some more time. Um, and the next day in the TT, lost some more time. Just not because I I tried to, but because I just didn't have a good TT. Um, and then, yeah, the day after that uh, was a pretty nailed on breakaway day in my mind. It was some climbs. At that point I knew I was racing against Brandon. I mean, he was the favorite in that group and everyone kind of knew it. There were other quality riders and no offense to them, but Brandon was my main concern. and. But in the radio, the team was doing some calculations and I realized, okay, with the time I'm pulling back from this breakaway, it put me back up in the, maybe the top 10 GC. So they just told me to start running full gas for GC and, and we'll think about the rest later. And so, yeah, I basically just rode with with Bonamore up the last climb and onto the last descent full gas. And, and uh, yeah, I got to the finish as fast as I could. And yeah, it put me back up to, I think 14 GC and into the white jersey. and. Uh, then it kind of changed my mindset again and um, yeah, when started to think about GC again. But the problem was that effort was huge. The break was just, yeah, a huge load on me. Um, almost a load that I've never had before in that amount of time. And, and whew, the next day I felt terrible on the bike. Hamstrings in particular from the day before were like seized and I had already done a recon for Torini and the knee stage and everything. So yeah, I was pretty invested. I started the Torini stage and got through most of it and got to the bottom of the Torini already feeling pretty beat up. I was already, you know, getting into like blacked, blacked out vision and going into, my, into the red zone with you know, 7K to go and stuff. And I had to eventually let, ease off and do my own pace because uh, after finishing that stage in the hotel with the with the massage therapist and the doctor, we were looking at the damage I was doing to my left hamstring. And yeah, I think I did some pretty decent uh, damage there, if not like a tear or some severe tendonitis. Um, so yeah, I couldn't start today, this last stage in Nice. I have an appointment tomorrow to go see a physical therapist because um, I think I did some damage there and my form was pretty good in this race, I think, and I felt really good and hopefully I can continue on with this season. So maybe, you know, with some more training next year, I can, uh, I can make it through. <laughs> Thanks guys, ciao.